Good morning. Welcome back to A to Z Gardening. And I got a topic for you that's a little unfortunate this morning, but when we start to see these high temperatures and a lot of water demand for plants, unfortunately, you'll see both ornamentals and your edibles become prone to powdery mildew. That's that white haze or maybe a grayish haze on the surface of the leaf that tends to kind of uh, cascade or darken the plant's ability to soak up sun and therefore make food for the plant. It is slowly a detriment to the plant as the season goes on. So let's talk about what makes powdery mildew more likely. Powdery mildew becomes more available. It's a fungal spore. If you can imagine a little layer of tiny little mushroom spores growing on the surface of the leaf, shading that leaf from doing its job, that's what's pow what powdery mildew is doing to your plant. And it becomes more prevalent during hot, humid times because the plant isn't capable of soaking up enough moisture and nutrition fast enough compared to the heat, making its natural defenses a little bit less. So how do we help that plant along? Make sure you deep, thoroughly water so that that plant has ample moisture. That's not to say that we want to run the lawn sprinklers every evening. By getting that humidity on the leaf and constant moisture, that only helps the powdery mildew. So don't water your garden with a lawn sprinkler every evening in uh, hot, dry times. Instead, maybe use a soaker hose once or twice a week to deep, thoroughly water, make available moisture. But if we still start to see that powdery mildew hitting things like pumpkins and squash and zucchini, cucumbers, those are plants that are really prone to it with their big leaf surface. We can give them a little bit of help. We can use a copper fungicide here. Copper fungicide has a little bit of a con to it in the sense that it is not going to be very effective on existing powdery mildew, but it will stop the spread. So if you start to see a little bit and really hit it good with the uh, copper fungicide, that's going to stop the spread. Unfortunately, if you have already got a pretty good crop of powdery mildew going on your plants, you can then use the chlorothalonil or the fungonol. Fungonol will stop that fungus from spreading in a multitude of directions, the early spores, the late spores, and the ability to even reproduce new spores. So it's a little bit more aggressive of a fungicide, but it is a synthetic, but it is labeled for your edible plants. If you have powdery mildew on things or other fungus issues on things during this hot, humid time that is not an edible, you can go a little different direction. You can use, you can use the infuse. I'm a big fan of a fuse on the roses. We use some infuse on the roses here at Stands. And it's a systemic fungicide that actually soaks into the leaf and prevents for long periods of time. Again, not labeled for your edible crops. And if you are uh, early season or a plant that's just waking, you can use this systemic through the root system. And that would be this Rosen Flower Care that has a fungal, a fertilizer, and an insecticide all in one. To apply this material here, you can either use the RTU, ready to use trigger sprayer, or you can use a concentrate that you would mix in a hose end sprayer as long as you can get a hose to your product. For any questions on defeating that fungal spore in the midsummer heat, contact any of us professionals here at Stands.